Here's a simple question for you. What do Canada and Mars have in common? The answer I'm looking for is hard to explain, and that's exactly what I'm explaining today. Something a little bit different. Devon Island, Mars on Earth. So, what's so cool about Devon Island? Well, firstly it's in Canada, which has a lot of snow, so by definition, it is cool. Located in Baffin Bay, Baffin region, Nunavut, it is one of the larger islands in the Arctic archipelago, the 6th largest island in Canada, and the 27th largest in the world. Devon Island is just bigger than the country of Togo, and a little smaller than Croatia. So it's big, nice, but what else? The island is completely uninhabited by humans, likely due to its climate and harsh terrain, meaning it's the largest uninhabited island in the world. But what about Mars? Well first, let me tell you about a research station. The Devon Island Research Station was founded in 1960. Located in True Love Lowland, on the northeast side of the island, it became the temporary home to five scientists and two journalists in 2004. They were to use the island's Mars-like surface to conduct research. The so-called crew lived on the island to try and simulate what living on Mars would be like. This was a great success, with over 20 scientific studies done between their trip in April to August 2007. Another trip was done by Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen in 2013 in preparation for a potential trip to the moon, to Mars, or even to asteroids. Another Mars-like feature on the island is the Houghton Impact Crater. It was formed 39 million years ago when an approximately 2 km wide rock decided to give Earth a little tickle. The crater is roughly 23 km in diameter and located pretty much in the middle of the island. Since Devon Island is so far north, the impact crater is as well, making it one of the highest latitude impact craters on Earth. And since it's so cold, all the water is frozen, meaning there isn't much weathering. That's pretty much erosion through water, so when all the water is solid ice, there is no weathering. This is great for scientists, because the crater doesn't lose many of its features to erosion like other craters may. And scientists love the Houghton Crater. So much that those who do work there dub it Mars on Earth. Now I suppose I should get into what the island looks like, which is pretty nice. On the northeast of the island is the True Love Lowlands, a sometimes soily, sometimes snowy sedge moss tundra where muskox and bask in the sun. On the east side of the island is the small Troiter Mountains Range, which are part of the Devon Ice Cap. Also to note are the Haddington Range and the Cunningham Mountains, but these are just three of several mountain ranges all over the island. So, Devon Island, Mars on Earth, one of the largest islands in the world one of the best Mars research sites on Earth, and home to a variety of geographic features that are sure to interest anyone. And who can forget those musk oxen? That's Devon Island, I'm Geography Goose, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.